Oh. Oh. Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. And yeah, I'm going to continue to upload some more videos, including my movie reviews. Right now, I'm having some problems with my high speed internet. It's been getting slow and it's cutting off a lot lately for the past couple days. So I hope it keeps on working again and not do the same mistakes. And yes, it's the same high speed internet that I've been getting since February of this year. I mean, it was getting a lot faster, hasn't had any problems, but I guess suddenly <laughs> it finally did. Yeah, I hope it stops though, so I can continue. But sometimes I like to take a break nowadays to relax, and I've been doing that. But anyway, I just found out just recently on the Blu-ray news. In fact, I just went to Blu-ray.com. You know, it's great to see that a lot of good movies, even those movies that are underrated, overlooked, is finally getting a Blu-ray treatment it deserves. And there have been several other films that just came out. And I'm glad to see that at least finally people definitely uh, who remember these movies would actually finally get to have a copy of their own. Especially if they're big fans of them. But every once in a while, we get a bad movie. And you're going to love this. Because I just found out that one of my friends actually saw a bad horror film that came out in 1986 called The Star Crystal. And I saw the movie too. I saw it a long time ago. And yes, I'm not surprised. It's a very bad film. Incredibly bad. It was basically an alien, the blob, or any other kind ripoff that we've been getting these days. And I know they've been getting them in the 80s and 90s. But <laughs> I never thought that this movie would finally get a Blu-ray treatment. Especially when it wasn't even on home video. Or it might have been. I mean, it's been on VHS. A long time ago. <sighs> but you're going to love this. This is not the only film that's going out on Blu ray that's going to be released by Kino Lober, which, amazingly enough, just released 1492 Conquest of Paradise, a very overlooked Ridley Scott Christopher Columbus film from 1992. It was never on DVD. And they're actually going to release um, the Corn Brothers film, Barton Fink, with uh, John Totoro and John Goodman. I'm glad to see that's coming out. But that's certainly the case here because of those two films. Because those are two good movies right there. They're actually going to release The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin and Elijah Wood from 1993. Yes, the one... That was directed by Joseph Rubin, the same director who gave us Dreamscape, which I'm happy that film got a Blu-ray release, uh, and a very good Blu-ray release from the Screen Factory that's part of Shell Factory. And I still haven't picked that movie up yet, and I really hope I do if I could find it. But I never thought to see this movie being released. And it's a special edition too. I actually reviewed this movie back in 2013, which would have been its 20th anniversary at the time. I remember when I was a kid, I saw this movie. I remember seeing ads for this film, having to see Macaulay Culkin doing a lot of evil things. And this was at the time when, when Macaulay Culkin was very popular enough to do all these Home Alone movies. He just did the first two films. He did My Girl. And he also did um, Uncle Buck, uh, Rocket Gyparator, which that was his first film. And he even had um, an uncredited uh, appearance in, in the movie Jacob's Ladder. Which that happens to be the, the only R-rated horror film that he did before this one. 
Well, anyway, this was the movie that his father had cast him in after Jesse Bradford uh, had dropped out of the project and went on to do the film King of the Hill. Not to be confused with the animated series that was by Mike Judge, I'm talking about the film, which is a drama called King of the Hill. And that's on Blu-ray, by the way, um, by Criterion. Uh, but Jesus Christ. I just found out that, yeah, this movie is going to feature interviews with the director, along with the supporting cast, which is, at this rate, only a few of the supporting cast, Daniel Hugh Kelly, David Morse, and Wendy Crewson. And it's also going to have the trailer, too. But no interviews with Macaulay Colgan and Elijah Wood. So, yeah, they're not going to be participating in this either. <sighs> unbelievable. Just un-fucking-believable. <sighs> you know, out of all movies out there that hasn't been on Blu-ray yet, like Good Burger, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary as of this year, doesn't have a Blu-ray release. And I don't even know when is it coming out. Because it hasn't been announced yet. There's Harriet the Spy, not on Blu-ray. Wookie of the Year is not even on Blu-ray yet. I can't believe it. And that came out in 1993, the same year as The Good Son. I mean, there, there's even other films that they haven't released on Blu-ray yet, like Maximum Overdrive, Raw Deal, True Lies, The Abyss, which is actually planning on getting a Blu-ray pretty soon, um, from what I heard, but let's hope so. I hope they don't lie to us. <sighs> a Bronx Tale. Not on Blu-ray yet. And I'm talking about those films that came out overseas. That's not here in North America. I mean, Jesus Christ. And there are other films out there that's not even on Blu-ray yet. I mean, granted, we are getting some other films like uh, Gold Digger's Secret of the Bear Mountain, but that's not on Blu-ray. It just came out on DVD that's re-released only as a Walmart exclusive before it finally gets to be available anywhere. And I just bought that recently at Walmart. <sighs> and then there are other films out there that did came out on Blu-ray, but it has no features. I, I just can't believe this. I can't believe out of all fucking movies out there, The Good Son gets a release. I wouldn't be surprised if Mikey gets a release. Same goes with The Paperboy from 1994. Not to be confused with the Zac Efron film. Which that's been on Blu-ray. <sighs> In fact, speaking of which, where's getting in with that? Where's Richie Rich? And for Christ's sake, where's the Nutcracker? They've been on DVD. And, and they really deserve a Blu-ray treatment. Even if one of the DVDs are out of print. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Son of a bitch. Out of all movies, man. Out of all fucking movies. It had to be the good son. You know, if that's really the case, where's Problem Child? One and two. Yes, I know there's a third one too, but I, I don't want to deal with that one. Because that one sucked. That was a TV movie, by the way. But yes, where's Problem Child? One and two. I'd rather have that on Blu-ray. I love those films more than The Good Son and Mikey, which is not on Blu-ray, of course, but like I said. 
Also, since Elijah Wood's in the movie, where's North? Yeah, I know, I know, people trashed that film when it came out. But it certainly is a better movie than The Good Son. I mean, that's been on DVD. But it's not on Blu-ray. I'm pretty certain that Radio Flyer is not on Blu-ray yet, either. Now that I think about it, I mean, that was on DVD. I have it. I want that on Blu-ray. I'd rather watch that than, once again, The Good Son. Where the fuck is Joss and Sam? You know, the film that's been overlooked and it's been postponed many times in 1993 before it finally got a release in, on Thanksgiving weekend. And it's been on VHS for a very long time. It doesn't even have a DVD release whatsoever. I'm not even so sure if it does. But it's not on Blu-ray. I wonder if Kino Lobo is going to release that. Because they should. Maybe all the films should do it. I don't know. I mean, hey, it's bad enough that the Garbage Pro Kids movie got a Blu-ray from Shout Factory. <laughs> Jeez, you know? They never get every fucking movie a chance. I don't get it. Not even Rad from 1986. Or even Daryl. That was on DVD, but it's not on Blu-ray. It did have an HD print overseas, but it's not here. No way. Rat Race is not even on Blu-ray yet, either. I have it on DVD. Even some of the movies that were released on Blu-ray, but are now out of print, like... Fright Night from 1985, The Blob, even Night of the Living Dead. Now, I know they've been released by Umbrella Entertainment, and it is region free, granted, but it's not released in North America. And also, Flight of the Navigator. But, who knows, maybe Disney Movie Club might have a chance on that. I mean, since they just released the Mighty Ducks trilogy, along with Cool Runnings, I definitely would love to have these already. But I gotta sign up for Disney's Movie Club. I'm sorry, I, I had to get this off my chest, but it just news like this just pisses me off. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry, man, but that's how I had to rant on a bad film like this. And the, and the fact that I'm ranting on that this movie is going to be on Blu-ray in HD. <laughs> wow. And it's going to get extras, too. <sighs> wow. I never thought that I could see this coming. <sighs> well, you might as well release Sleeping with the Enemy. That would go well with the double feature of The Good Son. Actually, better yet, Mikey. <sighs> Mikey would be a better double feature. Or a triple feature with The Paper Boy from 1994. <sighs> I mean, come on, man. <sighs> I feel bad for people. I feel bad for people who have to waste their time and money over garbage. I mean, I feel sorry for people who had to spend their hard-earned cash on garbage movies like The Star Crystal, The Good Son, and any other bad film that's coming out. I mean, yeah, we, we've been getting a lot of recent bad films over the years. But I never thought we'd be able to see older bad films. Yeah, I guess it's because they never got a Blu-ray release. Yeah, I know. Tough luck here. 
Yeah, I mean, it's sad that this movie has fans. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, yeah, I even have some friends who loves this movie. But I don't. And I'm going to keep it that way. Just, I just don't... I'm, I know, man. Well, either way, though, I, I do hope that all the other films that I mentioned does get a Blu-ray release because this is just getting ridiculous. And I mean, completely ridiculous. <sighs> anyway, that's my rant on The Good Son that's coming out on Blu-ray on August 1st from Kino Lober. <sighs> yep, get it while you can. If you must. If you have to. Anyway. And I also don't blame Doug Walker, a.k.a. the Nostalgia Critic, for hating this movie. But then again, he hated one of my favorite movies, which is Good Burger. Which I totally disagree with him on that. So, what else is new? Anyway, see you later, much later, bye.